Hi, Bowen, do you pity? Isn't that a beautiful environment over there? And it is beautiful, and the sun is shining. And chapter 4, video 5 is in front of you of grade 6 science. And we have been learning energy in day to day life. So, we learned about fossil fuel in our last session and today we're going to learn about wind i love this beautiful session because there is something very new coming to you right now what you will learn in this session wind power and what its uses now how wind power is used in ancient time and what are the other things we can use with this wind energy wind energy is very technically and Tactically, people use these days for various other purposes. Now, if you're looking at that one, let's see that. This old man is using the wind to do his harvesting. Now, have you seen how farmers separate unfilled or half-filled rice grains from the harvest? Yes, when he is throwing that rice with the particles which we can't consume or eat, which is very less weight than the grains, when that old man is throwing, what will happen? Those particles which are very less weight will taken away by the wind so this wind is very useful even in the ancient times so wind power is used for these purposes even today in rural areas in rural areas if you go to Polandarwa, Anradapura or suburb in a very far region people are using this wind energy even to harvest today now do you see this one somebody's yes using the wind power to dry their clothes so wind power can also be used to dry different materials wind power can also be used to dry different materials why not we can use wind power to dry certain things now the wind is used very technically and very advancedly these days if you see this video you will understand there is a drone is flying the drone is using a wind propeller to turn that one and then after that these kinds of farmers in China and very advanced countries they are using this to pour the water to the vegetable also you see this one so the wind propellers are very very nicely used in these kinds of areas so you see that and how the wind propellers are using so you will be observe you will observe the rotation of the wind propeller and the lifting of the weight is happened over there. So when the wind propeller is using, what exactly happening in that drone is, the, it's lifting the weight. It's lifting what? Weight. When wind blows, thus it's obvious that we can do work with the help of wind. It's very clear. Now you see this one, large windmills are operated using wind energy. So this is a very large windmill which is operated using wind energy. In ancient times, people used this energy to grind. In ancient times, people used this energy to grind. For example, this particular old image is coming from Sussex, Surrey. It's in UK, has a wagon roof cupola which is used to grind the grind generation of electricity using wind energy is also happening now in sri lanka also they use these kinds of wind propellers to generate what electricity so when the windmill operates we can rotate the parts of the generators and generate the electricity when the propeller is rotating like that the generator will generate electricity and we can get electricity to our houses so that is what happening here also you see these propellers can you guess where this area is from yes this is Putalam. these types of energy power plants are available in sri lanka as well in hambantota and Putalam. so we came to know a great deal of wind energy uses also now what you did learn in this session wind power and what its uses are and how wind power is used in ancient time and number two what are the other things we can use with this wind energy how wind power is used in ancient time and what are the other things we can use with the wind energy 
I'm going to see you with another beautiful chapter content. Until then, bye-bye. Take care of yourself.